know that someday it's got to come through. That's why we're here and we're telling you true. We're coming out of a shell, yeah. You hear the rhythm and you're moving your feet. Ain't nothing like a song with a beat. Hello, Bumps and Books fans. This is Scorp1701. And tonight we are going to be rocking out to the music from the 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out of their Shells album. And while we do that, we are going to review this awesome set of products. Yes, sir. This is the Target exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Musical Mutagen Tour box set and the accessory pack. Awesome. This was very, very hard to find. I think each Target only got like three of them. There was a little bit of time when they could uh, buy it online, but that lasted like 30 seconds. But uh, anyway, I was very fortunate enough to get my hands on a set of both the figures and the accessory pack. And we're gonna be taking a look at these awesome, awesome convention exclusives tonight. Yes, I said convention exclusives. These were initially slated to be released at Comic-Con and the New York Comic-Con in San Diego, but because of the virus that's been going around and plaguing our country, those conventions were canceled and they had to sell these toys somewhere. And so since NECA was putting them out, Target got the exclusive. And now tonight, you guys are gonna get the exclusive on how these guys look and since this is a musical video review, I'm not going to be doing a lot of the talking, but the music is going to be talking for me as we review these awesome, awesome products. All right, guys, hold on to your hats. So let's get started and get this show on the road. We're going to start off with the accessory pack.
jump right in here with a little bit of our articulation and to talk a little bit about each of the turtles they do have uh, one unique feature or something that they share with another turtle first of all let's take a look at Michelangelo he will be our base uh, Michelangelo is uh, the lead singer in the uh, concert in the tour but uh, he's also the uh, one that we're going to look at because they're all the same. The, they use the same molds for each of the turtles, but there is a slight difference in certain things that they have, and we'll look over that real quick. All right, first of all, looking at his head, it is nice and uh, large, as a good turtle head should be. His uh, mask um, is a nice orange. Uh, for articulation-wise, uh, he has this headset, and it does move up a little bit like there. He does have this um, mic. <laughs> Mike has a mic. <laughs> and it goes up and down. And he has this little antenna. And you can flex that any way you want to. Just be careful with it. It's very stiff. Uh, and it might break on you. Now, next point of articulation. What any good singing turtle needs is workable mouth. Ah, that is creepy, actually. A lot of people didn't like that. Uh, about the turtle costumes is that their mouths were huge and scary and all these teeth were so but you know they got a thing what do you expect uh, his head can go all the way around if you were kill him if you want to kill him i'm sorry uh it can kind of go down and it can go up and unless i forget the bandana on the back of their head is movable too. It can go all the way around, put them in all sorts of fun positions. Like, ah! And put them, ah! <laughs> so that is a cool piece of articulation. A little bit. His shoulders are on a uh, ball joint and they can go all the way around. They can come up a little bit and back. He does have a. Uh, swivel right here at the bicep it's just slightly below it's more of a elbow swivel and he has a bend that brings it up just a hair like that his hands can go all the way around and they can go in and out and you saw in the accessories there is like a pair of swappable hands where he can just have an open hand and a thumbs up hand and they uh, interchange with all the turtles so same mold same everything all right uh, there is nothing in the waist because this is one solid piece um, this belt he has can move up and down a little bit uh, straps across his uh, chest there and on the back look at that turtle shell that is awesome um, it doesn't come off you can cut it off but we're not gonna do that that would be silly um so each of the belts obviously are a different uh have different things on them. Uh, michelangelo here has stars uh donatello has yin yangs uh Raphael has x's and uh leonardo has come some sort of cool little swoosh thing uh but um going back down to the uh legs for articulation they go up and they go back a little bit but the shell gets in the way there is kind of a uh, thigh swivel here but i don't know how secure it is because if you keep doing it it might pop off because i think it's just a ball hinge there uh he does have a knee bend right here so it can go up at the knee pad so he gets a little bit of motion there so that's pretty neat and it's kind of tight so be careful with it and his foot is on a hinge so it can go down a little bit and go up a little bit and it can swerve or swivel from side to side so you got some nice ankle tilt now the strangest thing about these uh turtles is the feet obviously because these are obviously human feet <laughs> and they uh stayed true with the design of the costumes in the tour but uh, you can see they each have white converses on with their colors uh these little <laughs> ankle warmers are cloth so that's pretty neat little uh thing there now uh, as far as particular um unique design michelangelo and Raphael both have these little things coming off of uh their knee pads uh, you can see that donatello and uh well you can't see but Don uh, leonardo and donatello do not have those it's just uh Raphael and Michelangelo so that was an interesting little uh, design there so we'll put uh, Mikey down 
And let's see. Uh, we're going to take a look at Donatello. His interesting feature is that he has these little tassels built onto his uh, shoulder pad here. This is pretty neat. So I don't know. He's the only one that has those. So I guess that was something they wanted to put onto him. Make him stand out. So yeah. <laughs> oh, ooh, nope, there they went. All right, that's okay. Um, Raphael is pretty much, with, except with the ankle thing, the thing that's unique about him is if you take a look at his jacket, um, all the chill jackets are pretty much the same. They uh, just cut out little jean jackets. They have their initials here. And on the back, they have their names on the top. And then they have the poster for the show and the little designs. But Raphael's... Uh, jacket has a little smiley face right there so I think that's cute I don't know why they wanted to do that for him he's the only one that has anything on his jacket other than these uh, main uh, designs so that's cool now um when it comes to Leonardo and um, Michelangelo they were given uh, special eyepieces and they uh, came in the set and it's kind of uh, strange they can go on any of the turtles but you see them usually on Leonardo and uh, Michelangelo this is a little swoosh piece it matches uh, Leonardo's belt icons and on his shoulder and it is normally posted into his uh, left eye so it has a little it has a little tab type thing and the eyes if you can uh, if we can get a little closer, I really indented in there, and you can see, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. Yeah, just to tab that in there, and so now he has this like weird star man David Bowie look. So his would usually go there, and Michelangelo's uh, would go on the right. So let's see if we get him standing. Eh, I'll put him down and bring up Michelangelo, and he has a star. And his would go right in here. Yeah. We can get it in there. Now I've seen pictures where they were interchangeable and Leonardo had his in the left eye or right eye or what have you. So it really doesn't matter. They could fit both eyes and any of the turtles. Yeah. Get that in there. So yeah. So if you like that look. And they wore this particular look. <laughs> in the uh, making of the coming out of their sh uh, shells tour. Apparently there was two different costumes, a good one that they wore on stage and a more uh, detailed one, which wasn't very uh, <laughs> flexible, I guess you could say. But anyway, that is it for their articulation and their unique features. Let's get back to the music with some comparisons. has been the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Musical Mutagen Tour exclusively at Target 
and um, I really, really love these figures. I love the little video and the concert from the 90s. It was obviously called Coming Out of Their Shells. Why this is called Musical Mutagen, I'm not sure. Uh, back in the day, Pizza Hut had the rights to the name. I think if you really look into the nuts and bolts of it, it was kind of a conflict in the rights thing. So they went ahead and said Musical Mutagen. So um, yeah. Uh, these guys were extraordinarily hard to find, but they were well worth it. Um, the Target, again, Target exclusives, and um, I don't know if Target's going to be getting any more of these or if they're going to be restocked online. Uh, these are just whew, one of a kind set, and uh, I, I really I can't say enough good things about them. Um, it kind of reminded me like back in 2017 when they released the uh, NECA Toon Turtles that we've been doing reviews on. Uh, they came initially came out in a case set with eight of them and so maybe they will release these in two packs uh, because you can also have more toys. There was a Shredder, a Splinter, an April, a Baxter Stockman. You could all do those if you want to do another set of four because uh, there's a lot of music to go around <laughs> but uh, anyway guys uh, that was the review I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did listening to these cool tunes and playing with these awesome figures and until next time I'll catch you later <laughs>